Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. <laughs> Thank you. Correspondence with the Northern Hemisphere, that actually says that. So if you're in Australia, I'm sorry. Catswort is an extremely attractive herb known for attracting love. What? People routinely tell me in the comments that I'm supposed to shower before I sit in the bath. My answer to those people is if I'm clean, why would I sit in a bath? Hmm? back to this channel co-creators it's mystic rain your resident internet psychic medium and spiritual advisor and today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the witch's moon box for december of 2020 before we jump into this video it's time for the shameless plug i.e me a lot of you guys have been asking for services. My services are now live on my website, which is also live in the description box below. I will be doing client intake in January of 2021. So the calendar is now live. You can now book with me and I would suggest that you do so quickly before it fills up. Also, we are going to be doing astrology readings as well, or I'm going to be doing astrology readings as well. For New Year's, there is a 50% off New Year's sale for your 2021 year ahead forecast. This is your weather report for 2021. It's over a hundred pages long and it gives you all of your transits, all of your dates, what your planets and your stars are doing in the sky. If you want to know when to change jobs, when to change careers, when to leave your man, when to get a new man, you will get it in the 2021 year ahead report. Link for that also in the description box below. So let's get into it. So Here's the box. This was exciting. That was, this is the most excited I've been on here on account of this is the heaviest box I've ever felt. Now here's the thing about heavy box. Like it can really be anything, right? But it's heavy. Like it is weighty, right? And I'm so excited and it smells good. I haven't had a box that smelled good in such a long time on account of the fact that they now put the incense in like a bag instead of letting them roam free. And so you just never know what you're gonna get. But I'm so excited. Okay. So, this is what the box looks like, you guys. And let's see what it's about. Lady of the East. During this joyous time of year, we delve into the celebrations of Yule and the winter solstice, solstice awaiting the coming of longer days and bright possibilities in addition to celebrating we recognize that the path ahead is one that may be unknown full of challenges and invisible to wary eyes in this very special collection we call call upon the lady of the east to protect us on our coming journey guiding us towards making relevant and positive decisions upon the return of the sun, we bask in our unique and powerful position to make a positive impact in our lives, as well as those that stand with us. May the coming of the bright half of the year bring bounties of blessings and transformation. We have been eagerly waiting and working to create this collection. are so thrilled to finally be able to share it with our subscribers. Okay, so my oracle card is Abundance of Sophus. Uh, abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. <laughs> Thank you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. Freely share your talents, love, wisdom, and self, and enjoy the abundance responsibly flowing to you in many forms over and over and over again. I love this. I received this. Um, this is really cool, too, because the picture in the front is a wheat crop. Awesome, I receive. Uh, okay, so then we've got some um, some uh, uh, Book of Shadows artwork here. So we've got Yule, and we have got Bassett. And let's see, so Yule, let's start with Yule first. So Yule, it has sort of the correspondence, um, correspondence with the northern hemisphere that actually says that so if you're in australia i'm sorry um the date so the 21st and 22nd of december that's the solstice um element of fire and air celestial influence jupiter and saturn by the way guys jupiter and saturn are meeting in the sky right now this is volatile uh 
in a sense that you got one planet that's like luck and abundance and you've got one planet that's about rules and restrictions and structure and they're coming together and um doesn't happen very often but when you feel that you feel a lot of resistance and it's kind of like a battle of the frequencies kind of so to speak it gives you corresponding colors corresponding stones like bloodstone emeralds garnet corresponding botanicals um like a knee cedar chestnut cinnamon corresponding animals um magical beings corresponding magical beings and then um celebration so there's a part down that gives uh, suggestions for how to celebrate you all if that's what you want to do and then we also have artwork here for Basset Bass does anyone actually know how to pronounce this can someone give me like a little like uh 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 phonetic pronunciation in the comments I've also I've always said Basset but I'm pretty sure it's wrong <laughs> okay so ancient Egypt Afro-Asiatic is that how you say that? I mean, these fonts, man. All of a sudden, you think all my years of schooling and I can't read. Um, the celestial influences, it gives um, attributes and emblems. It talks about that and um, sort of kind of like what you can harness the energy for magically. All right, so let's start with the incense simply because they are right on top. It is pine hollow. I love a pine smell. Ooh, potent. I love a pine smell. It's like my favorite smell. And around like fall time when the pine needles fall off the trees, I love that. Here we go. As you allow the wonderful pine scent from these instant sticks to walk throughout your sacred space, allow its high vibrational energies to uplift your spirits and calm any nerves you may have. We recommend opening a window if possible for, to allow ventilation. Do they put that in all the other incense? Is that the first thing that, or is that the first time I'm noticing or does that mean this one is particularly strong? Ooh, a tea. So it is Yuletide Chai. Ha, that's cute, Yuletide Chai. I like that. Okay, so for Yuletide Chai, and then there's a mucilin bag in here. It's, here it is. So the bag to help steep the tea. This warm, spicy, and invigorating ritual herbal tea was created with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, allspice, clove, black pepper, and black tea. As you sip this tea during your Yule festivities, take the time to go over all the things that you may be grateful for. Be filled with joy and a feeling of appreciation for all that your guides have blessed you with on your journey so far. Okay. So then we've got some herbs here. Is that it? I think that's it. We've got cat's wort, wart, cat's wart, and cat's claw bark. Also known as the sacred herb of the rainforest, cat's claw bark has long been honored by the native tribes of Peru, revered for its wondrous healing abilities. Cat's claw bark was also said to carry good spirits within its essence. Used within oils, tinctures, or placed within dream pillows, cat's claw can bring balance and assist during astral travel or vision quests. Dress candles with cat's claw that are created for honoring or calling upon bastet or simply placed within an offering bowl. So for ritual use only. And then for the cat's wart, wart herb, um, says it's both feline and human friendly. Cat's wart is an extremely attractive herb known for attracting love. What? It is going to be a new year. Cat's wart has commonly been used in come to me elixirs and tinctures. This wonderful herb exclude, exudes relaxing and powerful energies more commonly felt by those that are intuitive or energy or to energetic vibrations. As a magnetic herb, cat's wort is known to intrigue good tempered spirits and bounties of good fortune. Cat's wort is a wonderful offering to be placed on the altar of Bastet. Its gender association is feminine. Planetary association is Venus. Deities is Bastet. And then elemental associations are water. I sense that people are going to lose their mind when they get that herb. I can already feel it. I'm not mad at you, though. You know, live your best life. Okay. Then we have a 
this it looks like cedar. Ooh, this literally, I mean, it smells like I just got it off the tree. It smells so good, but it smells so fresh. Cedar sage stick. Cedar sage is an absolute favorite of ours during Yule season, as well as providing protection and expelling negative energies and vibrations. Cedar sage has a wonderful ability to bring grounding and earthly energies to your environment. As the smoke from the sage stick travels around your home, we recommend verbally reciting your intentions so the energy that remains is charged with the authentic purpose. Be sure that you use over a fireproof bowl filled with sand to catch any ash that may fall. I feel like I dropped some cedar in my boots. I did. That was uncomfortable. So then we have the sacred bath salt, just called Yule. Oh, that's cute. I like how they changed the top. It's all silvery and stuff. Okay. Is that bay leaf? I think this is bay leaf, which is interesting because bay leaf is typically used for wish magic. And this would be a time of year to make your wish. Very kind of piney, sweet piney smell. Like a like a tis the season smell. Um, blessings of Yule sacred salt. We have created this blessing of Yule sacred salt with the intention of celebrating this joyous time of year. Also known as the longest night of the year, Yule represents and signifies newfound hope and potential. This time is for celebrating the achievements and blessings that have been bestowed upon us during the previous months and for the wisdom that have been retrieved through shadow work done in the dark half of the year. We have enchanted the sacred salt with spruce and pine oils, as well as bay leaf and mistletoe. We have also included a special mixture of our Yule celebration magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. So for everyone that hasn't seen any of my other videos, it just doesn't make it that far in the video. If you do not have a bathtub, because not everybody does, you just have a shower or if you hate baths, I personally hate baths. There's an idea of sitting in my own filth that just does not resonate. People routinely tell me in the comments that I'm supposed to shower before I sit in the bath. My answer to those people is if I'm clean, why would I sit in a bath? Hmm? I just don't have that kind of time. Anyway, for those of you that are like me, or maybe just a little less dramatic and just, you know, don't have an actual tub, what you can do is put it in a pouch. And so a pouch that's um, that water runs freely through. So like a mucilin bag would be a good example of this. Um, you can actually, um, and one of you guys actually taught me this. You can actually put the salt in the bag and then hang the bag above the shower head and let the water from the shower head uh, go through the bag and kind of fall into you. If you don't like that idea, you could fill up a sink with warm water, put the salts in there, wash your hands in it, splash it on your face, and you can still get the magical properties of the salt, uh, even if you're not sitting in an actual bath. Okay, so you've got an oil here. This oil smells delicious. I can already smell it outside. I think it may have leaked. Did it leak? I think so. Or maybe Temple Goddess. This is strong. This leaked. I need a. Um, this is probably why the bag smells so good. Oh, all right. We'll just. We will anoint thyself. All right. Temple Goddess. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intentions of enhancing the protective barrier that surrounds your experiences on the path ahead. The energy associated with the temple goddess is that of Bastet, swift and all-knowing when danger may be present or nearby. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific tension intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. In addition to using this blend for protection, we recommend using it to anoint any Bastet related altar statues or tools that may be present in her, presented in her honor. We have enchanted this magical oil with rose, almond, patchouli, jasmine, and clove oils and have included rose, cat's wart, and Egyptian blue lotus as well. 
Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our protectress magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Okay. It smells very good. Very good. What is this? What? Oh, no. Oh, so sad. This looks like it was supposed to be. Okay, before I go here, this is actually the type of bag that I was talking about that works best for the salts, right? I've, I've used both of them. These bags, the salt comes out a lot better. But this kind of looks, this looks like it was a, it's a piece of selenite, but it didn't make it to me in one, it didn't make it all the way here in one go. Is it broken or is it just multiple pieces? It's broken. <gasps> no, oh, I'm so sad. Wait, I may be less sad. Um, you'll excite? You excite. Maybe it's not broken. You 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 look excite or T T V stone T V stone being in quotes pieces. Maybe it's supposed to be in pieces. Please use caution while working with you look excite as it's very soft stone and it's made up of small fibrous crystals. We recommend not handling this stone too often. So they probably expected that to be. So it looks like. It was two stones that were put in the bag. Both of them broke. I mean, they're definitely cracked. I can see that. Um, but it looks like they probably thought kind of maybe it was aware that that could happen. It is also recommended that this stone is placed out of reach of animals and children placed upon an altar where it will not be moved or physically worked with. Hmm. Also known as a TV stone, you'll excite is found in the U.S. as well as Russia, Peru, Chile, and Canada. As this stone is known as an amplifier, it is commonly used to assist one in understanding, processing, and clear and clearly seeing emotions and thoughts, as well as having great amplifying abilities. You'll excite. You'll excite assists in breaking down blockages in creativity and productivity so that you may easily jump into new creative adventures and projects. As you walk into the coming of the bright half of the year, rely on this stone to reveal new ideas and opportunities for growth. Elemental association is when, and the chakra association is the third eye. It really does look like a selenite. Oh God, it definitely broke. So I have pieces of it. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, and it's have it's super energetic. It's like if anyone. So for crystals, for people that don't know, crystals work. And the reason why different crystals do different things is that crystals do have an energetic resonance. They do vibrate. And for people that are really intuitive, have the ability to feel the vibration. This is vibrating like it's no tomorrow, but you can feel it. And you can feel like how um, delicate it is. It's almost like I don't want to drop it. It's like don't wake the baby. But this is so cool. I've never experienced. I'm so scared of it. Oh, my God. I don't even know. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. But it is in pieces. Okay. I'm like, I'm so afraid to break it. And it is fibrous. Oh, wow. So if anyone understands like selenite, selenite is quite a sort of fibrous, delicate stone. So it's like take selenite and like think of selenite, but like five times softer than that. Um, wow. It's really nice though. And it's such a heavy, like the vibration of this is crazy. All right, in you go, little one. All right, so here we've got a candle. Yes, and it's a gold candle. I, 
I don't really like, it's like a yellowish gold. I don't always like unwrapping them because these candles are always dressed and then whenever I unwrap them before I light them, I get them everywhere. But because I love you guys, I can do you guys this one teensy favor. So it's like a gold. And there's cedar. It looks like it's this gold yellow color. And it's there's cedar in it. Okay. So it's a hand rolled and anointed Lady of the Rising Sun spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with a special way to honor and call upon Bastet or the Lady of the Rising Sun. Tokens of appreciation can be placed on or around this candle while lit, allowing you to provide specific intentions, messages, and intimate requests. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic Energy, allow the natural ingredients within this candle to direct you in receiving the necessary guidance during your meditations and rituals. This candle will be enchanted, has been enchanted with a special mixture of our Bastet Calling Magical Oil. In addition, we have hand rolled this candle with blue corn flour, Egyptian blue lotus, and oils of rose, amber, and fragrances. So this blue corn flour that I'm looking at, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, cool. So with that always comes a spell. And so it says, um, on silent months, on mornings of new, I honor the goddess who sees all views. Goddess of the rising sun, protector and queen, I ask for safety during times unseen. I seek wisdom and knowing. I see the truth within despair. I seek the calm tones of your earnest prepare. Where the future unfolds, where intentions collide, I call upon Pas Basset to protect and guide. You know what? I don't know who's writing these things over at the Witch's Moon, but they've gotten a lot better. I'm the type of person that likes to have my spells rhyme. All my spells that I've written in that book, where is it? They rhyme. They don't have to rhyme. Spells don't have to rhyme. But, you know, if we're going for the drama of a spell, the least it can do is rhyme. You know what I mean? Okay, there's that. And then there is a big piece in here that I was saving for last. And this is what's making us all heavy. Look at that. It's an altar piece. Look at that. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look how Gorgeous she is. Oh, I already have a special place for her. She's going above the front door. Oh, she's so fierce and she's such a protector. I love this. I feel like this energy, I'm resonate with it, with it so much. Can you see it if I put it here? Here we go. Look at her. Look at her. Ugh. So although commonly represented with gold and black, this special about that brings a truly magical energy represented within her calm and sturdy gaze. Bassett has been called by many names and associations, including Bass. Uh, I mean, Bass. There's there's so many different writings here, and I can't pronounce all of it. Um, she of the ointment jar was one thing that I guess she's been called protector of Lower Egypt, Eye of the Moon. And the goddess of the rising sun. Um, and then also the lady of the slaughter. It is said that at one point, she and Sakmet were characterized as being the same goddess. This powerful and reverent goddess represented the fierce nature of Sakmet, representing the cunning and warrior-like ability to reign victorious in battle, as well as loving protectress against represented as Bastet. Through most of ancient Egyptian history, she was represented as a lioness, commonly depicted as a beautiful woman with the head of a lion. During this early, these earlier periods, she was associated with the sun and was feared as a great warrior. In later times, she became more commonly recognized as a cat goddess that brought great protection to those that were in need. So to further verify how extremely sacred the feline goddess was in ancient Egypt, there were over 300,000 mummified cats buried within the land on which the temple has all, 
has has always been very involved within our sacred past. Okay, so 300,000 mummified cats were buried within the land of her temple. Um, along with the calming and protection energies we receive, um, she personifies grace, affection, playfulness, joy, and cunning. Her protection resonates with that of a fierce lioness looking over her children, always aware of any danger that may be creeping nearby. As with most deities from ancient Egypt, she was said to assist the dead in finding their way to the afterlife, unharmed by wandering dark entities that may have other intentions. In addition to placing her on an altar, we recommend adorning her with symbols of the Ankh or the Eye of Ra. Other offerings that, be, that can be made um, include, but are not limited to fragrant perfumes and oils, the burning of incense, attractive herbs, and the burning of resin, such as frankincense, myrrh. And myrrh, another way to celebrate her is to bask in the sun on a beautiful day. Ooh, like sunbathing, sun gazing. Oh, she's so fierce. I love her. See, I do resonate with her. I don't always resonate because a lot of the times they have Celtic deities, but I love her. I love her. Okay, so that is actually the end of this box. If you guys are interested in this box, I will put the link to that description, uh, the link in the, the, blah, 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 blah. the link in the description below, or the description box below, if you resonate with this box. Um, also, once again, if you guys are trying to get in touch with me, or you guys want to have a session with me, or a reading with me, or you guys want to get an astrology report that is 50% off for the 2021 year ahead reports that are over 100 play, um, pages, please, before you go, make sure you check that description box below. And as always, guys, I will see you guys soon in another video.